Hey guys, just a quick video regarding the latest firmware that has been released today for the Phantom 4. That's version 1.1.410. I'm going to show you how to successfully upgrade your Phantom 4. Um, I'm going to give you some tips if anything goes wrong and I'm going to tell you um, what's included in this latest upgrade. So let's get started. Okay, so let's have a look at what's new in this firmware. Number one, added a feature that automatically lets you um, turn off the front LED while shooting still photos and videos. Enable this feature in the camera settings section of the DJI GO app. So all you need to do if you want to um, turn off your LEDs, say if you're shooting at night time or something, um, you head over to the camera settings uh, tab um, and as soon as you shoot an image or start recording, the front LEDs will turn off. This is a great feature and um, I hope it helps you. Okay, so number two is optimized altitude adjustment logic. Um, so that when the aircraft is automatically um, flying um, and following you, um, it will adjust to the terrain that is underneath you. So basically, this means that the aircraft should not drop altitude whilst it's following you in active track mode. Um, if you're going over water, um, or if you're going over a grassy field, um, or if you're going over a muddy field. It should automatically adjust um, to the terrain that is underneath you and should not cause any altitude drops. Now, I haven't tested this myself, um, but I will let you guys know um, if this is true and it has been fixed. Okay, number three, optimized camera lens spectrum parameters. So in short terms, it basically means that they have changed some settings in the camera um, to make it shoot better pictures and videos. I guess that's all you guys need to know for number three. Number four is improved propeller guard recognition to reduce the chances of missed detection. So if you use propeller guards, um, basically number four tells you exactly what it is, what it does. Um, I'm not going to say any more. Okay, number five, change the notification tone for gimbal initialization basically means that your gimbal is not going to stop squeaking and clicking with this fix um, because that problem is hardware related and not firmware related. Um, it does mean that the gimbal initialization tone may change. So when you're updating your Phantom, you may get some faint uh, light beeps uh, from your gimbal. This is the initialization tone. The startup tone has not changed, so that will sound exactly as it sounds right now. Okay, so let's have a look at upgrading the Phantom 4 firmware. What you need to do is make sure that you've downloaded the DJI Assistant 2 uh, software, um, either on a, so on a Mac or on a computer. Um, I'm going to put the link in the description for you so you can go straight to the download section and download the Assistant app. I do highly recommend using this Assistant app rather than using the DJI Go app because it's just a lot more reliable. Um, as you know of all previous updates, there have been many problems with updating through the Go app. So this is why I'm uh, advising you guys to update via the software Assistant. Okay, so once you've uh, plugged your Phantom in, turned it on, um, and it's gone through its startup process, you will be greeted with the following screen. The upgrade will take about 15 minutes. Ensure that your, com your computer is connected to the internet, the air system is powered on, the air system is connected to the computer. So you must make sure that the three steps are followed, otherwise you will have big problems. Um, also make sure that you're on uh, a reliable and stable Wi-Fi network. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend um, upgrading via mobile hotspot as this is not uh, very reliable. Um, so when you're ready, click Start Upgrade. Do remember that the uh, download and upgrade process will take between 15 and 20 minutes. Um, that for me was probably about 19 minutes today. Um, so the download will take as long as it takes. Um, this varies on the load on the DJI servers, also varies on your download speed for your internet. Um, so once the download 
process is complete, your phantom will start updating. While the phantom is updating, it will make noises, lots and lots of noises. It will restart, um, lights will flicker. Um, so for example, um, by your SD card, you've got a little LED light that will flicker red and green. That is completely normal. You will hear faint beeps and light beeps uh, coming from inside the phantom. That is completely normal. Your phantom 4 gimbal might go limp. So that is normal as well. Um, what else is normal? Uh, the lights flickering, I think I said that. Um, they will flicker red, green, yellow, all different kinds. All four LEDs will flicker, all these different colours. That is completely normal. Do not worry. Do not unplug your Phantom. And by all means, do not turn it off. So once the uh, firmware has completed its upgrade uh, via the Assistant, you will get a green tick with the version number underneath. You'll then be asked to restart your aircraft. Um, once you've done that, uh, and you've definitely got that green tick and restarted your aircraft, you need to quit out of the DJI Go app. Um, what you need to do is actually force quit out of the DJI Go app by completely killing the application process. If you've got any problems and the firmware upgrade did not go as planned, then comment down below, let me know, uh, let everyone else know, and I'm sure we can solve the problem for you. Uh, if you've got any comments or you just want a general chat about the latest firmware upgrade, then do comment down below again. Uh, and of course, I will reply to your comment. Um, if you like this video, do let me know. Um, and that's about it. Um, more videos on the way shortly. YouTube.com forward slash The Market Show.